that? Who's been entrusted with the rings? Jim, you haven't got that one, have you, Jim? <laughs> Still got them? Somebody has been entrusted with the rings. Can I give them to you? Yeah. And we won't lose them. Guard these. Guard these rings. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. I lost the ring. <laughs> this does not look like it. No, I lost nice the ring. This is the backup ring. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, Sammy, Sambo, or my personal favourite, Sam Anger, was mum and dad's only daughter. Whoa. So ever since birth, she has been treated like a princess. Because I was prem, he said that Teddy was bigger than me when I was born. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have seen pictures of Sam from her, let's say, growing stage, but she was far from a princess. Unless, of course, we're talking about the movie Shrek, <laughs> talking about Princess Fiona, and there were a few similarities. Who has the bigger ass? Up until this day, Sam remains the only person I know who has had had to have the chair dismantled around her because of her ass becoming wedged in. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Damien's proud father. You have to write that down? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't start on me. It's meant to be a 10 second speech. <laughs> Sam, I love you more than words, but you made me write some, so here we go. I am constantly amazed of your determination, ability to always see the good in someone, your never-ending unconditional love, and your talent to out-eat everyone when you're drunk. bitching and complaining when you ask me to straighten the back of your hair and to pick up the straightener and do as I'm fucking told. <laughs> I promise to make sure the pantry is always stocked with tin corn and to never pour out the juice without offering it to you first. And lastly, I promise to let you cut in and finish all my stories, even if you can't deliver a punchline nearly as good as I set it up. Oh, I hate this. I hate um, this, but I push myself to the front and I'll do it. I'll... <laughs> promising you that I will always get excited about your PBs in the gym and that I will forever reassure you that your biceps are bigger than mine. I promise that the answer will always be yes when you ask if you can get another dog or a cat or a sheep or a miniature goat. I will come to Bunnings and pretend to be interested in the price of timber and different shades of white and I will agree to disagree with you on fruitcake. 
I'd only known Damo a few months and at this stage our relationship was still in early days and he was probably still working out if I was a mother-in-law from hell. I was sitting a few feet away watching my puppy Brax, a little cavoodle. He was playing with something on the floor that looked like a tissue and I had a better look. At this stage I probably went, oh. Brax had been in their bedroom. My poor little Brax had just eaten his protein for the day. Someone very special once said, every day is a blessing, make it count. Sam, with you in my life, every day, every hour and every minute is a blessing to be with you. And I'm gonna make damn sure they all count. I love you forever and always, Nick. Yeah. <laughs>You have been through so much heartbreak in your 30 years and so it is only understandable that your love is the kind that is not easily won, but once it is, it is the most generous love of all. I promise that I will do my best to make sure that the rest of your life is full of laughter and love and happiness and that you never again have to face the sorrow that you have in the past. Sambo, it's really hard to put into words just how much I love and appreciate you. I love that you make Damien so happy and how much you love our family. But the thing I love the most about you is the way you talk about and love Ali. You're not afraid to bring her up in conversation or ask questions about her and I see the love you have for her and I know our whole family love, love you for that too.